Hi, what I'm going to do is show you how to get to the top of the search engines um, by using YouTube videos. Now, a video of one of what I've done is how to kill moles. Now, it doesn't actually kill moles, this video. It actually shows you how to move them off the land. But if you have a look at this example here, um, it al already shows you what other people are typing into Google, which is sort of good combinations. So all these are great because there's loads of different combinations there. Um, but there's, there's only like 474,000 uh, searches, which makes it easy to get to the top of the search engines, which I'll show you how to do in a second. So there's me at the top of the search engines there. That's been there since January the 9th, 2008. Now I'll do another, show you another one I've done. Is a party plan training. Training. Again here, yeah, there's not sorry spelt wrong uh, party plan training there's actually uh, nine million searches on that which is huge so you can never get you can never get the top of the search engines uh, unless you have extra extra if it was just one word you ha wouldn't have a chance to get the top of the search engines because it's three it makes it, you can narrow it down I'll just put it in brackets again to show you how that happens so we do the search that drops you drops you down just to 54,000 searches specific putting that specific word in which makes it easy to get to the top so I've got the top of the search engines there there's a video I've had up there since September uh, 2007 and below that there's a blog I've done as well which I'm going to explain on, on another video actually how to do that but the videos are the interesting ones because they seem to get higher push, pushed up and because there's a picture with it people's eyes focus on the picture more than more than the blog so I, I like the videos it gets more traffic and it gets a viral track traffic as well because you, you never know where it's going to end up so people on on this side here are actually paying a lot of money for uh, for, for leads um, and basically you can do this all for free and there's thousands of millions of co uh, different keywords you can actually do so we'll go back to how to kill moles again how to kill Moles. Just grab that a second. Now this is what what I want you to use is this keyword, because you need to go to see how much traffic you you're actually getting, or there may be a word that's a bit better than you, or a combination of words you could use a little bit better. So there's this product called a keyword tool by Google. You just put that in the search engines and click on it. And there it is. So if you just click on that, maybe you've got to watch this video over quite a few times to see how I do everything. You know, this is a fantastic little tool. If it'll open up, it's gone uh, gone to sleep at the minute. There we go. It's so basically what you do is you put whichever word you want in, how to kill moles. That'll search the Google database, and it'll tell you exactly how many people are viewing that every month in the competition so it gives you another different way of actually finding what traffic there is obviously moles is massive traffic just the word moles but you're not going to get the top of the search engine with that you've got to have the combination of like three or three different letters so I'll quickly go and show you how to do that uh, I'll just click into my Yahoo oh I'll just find the video um, get rid of that How to kill moles. There's a video. Go full screen. Right, so I'll just turn that down because we don't want to hear that. So when you actually put them together, the key bit is to put it what it is in your header. So that's how to kill moles. The the, the Google search engines will find that. And then at the bottom, what you want to want to be doing is actually uh, putting some information now some of this information I've added at a later date and how you do that is you just go back up to the top and edit your video when you're actually in there um, so at the bottom end of it what I've got is I've got my now the the site with our online catalog so if anybody pe pe people wanted uh, products out of the catalog then go to it also the Facebook fan page and the Twitter so you're linking everybody together as much as much as possible then here's some words I just put in the content, some different words linking to that 
to help the search engines find it on different sections put it in the how to because you're showing them how to do and then importantly put some tags how to kill moles the whole thing mole hills and runs and, and catch so the more of them that you put in the bottom I also did another video which was how to catch moles so I added that to the bottom of the video so there's extra it gets a, a, a secondary hit that one's also had 40,000 views and they're both both growing all the time so some extra things you may want to do I'll just go back on the video to show you where I've added a little out here somewhere I think it is so you can add, add a little flag to go down to your catalog <coughs> and how you do that as you go up here to edit annotations <coughs> And basically what, what you do is just click on there and put your bubble wherever you want. Write the text you want to do and go to publish and change the time that it actually comes in. As you can see here, I've got it set up here where it comes in a, a little bit further along. So we'll just move it along. There we go. It just pops up for a few seconds. So you want to make sure people click on your different pointing to the different things. Make sure people are subscribing to your Facebook page, your fan page, your Twitter feed. And important at the top when it's not in your editing position there's a, the link to actually to subscribe to your video as well so that's a, the trick on doing that obviously you can upload the video not just to YouTube uh, Yahoo mail ha ya Yahoo video has their own you've got Facebook where you can put the videos up but the all your little shop windows out there selling on whatever products you actually want to market and there's thousands of millions of different keyword combinations so uh, everybody can pick on something different to get the top and then you never know when they're actually going to go viral and that means they just just take off by themselves um, so I'll just put this into the search as well because at the minute on the YouTube search the video is not coming top anymore it actually comes further down it's actually on the if you do the YouTube search it's not till sort of five down but if somebody clicks on the top one, what you actually do on the other side, you get a second chance of a hit because it's there on the right. So if somebody watches this and think, well, that's not really teaching us anything, which it doesn't. And then they think, well, I'll have a look at that one and I'll click on that. So that gives you an extra way of diff different views. So that's quite a lot of information. You're probably going to have to watch this a few times so you get it. Um, other little things you can actually do just go back to my original video I don't know if I'm going to run out of time on this because this, this is just an extra thing but if you go to the top here on inside stats it actually tells you which countries and which areas and which age groups are actually viewing the video and which keywords so that's worth having a look at as well